Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is the first episode of my new build, the Copper State Models 132nd Quadrant G3. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell, that'd be brill. Thank you. Firstly, last year, modelling wise, was a very slow year. I didn't even finish a single model. This was mainly because my head was in my wedding and my honeymoon. Both were several months apart, so it was hard to concentrate on my modelling. Anyway, this year I'm going to be mainly concentrating on one model for the channel at a time. Get it in, get it built, get it out. Also, I will be carrying on with buddy builds as I really like this and hopefully it gets people involved. Anywho, I will now pass you over to your host in the shed who can give you more news on our exciting new build. So, over to you, Steph. Thanks for that, Steph. Anyway, as you can hear, I've sorted out that horrid echo out here in the shed. So, with that done, let's have a closer look at the CSM Cauldron G3 in 1 32nd scale. I'm loving the box art. Really nice and certainly depicts the Cauldron well. I'm only going to show the side of the lid which depicts the four different types to make. The only reason for that is because there's little room betwixt camera and desk. It's packaged very well. It comes in a separate box and each lettered sprue comes in its own separate bag, as you can see. So let's pop the box to one side and look at the destructions. Now for the said destructions. I'll let it roll, but I will intercede when I need to. These are very detailed instructions. They even give you the wiring diagram in case you're going to install the wireless set. It also gives you the routing diagram for each version of it. This is awesome, I am so doing this. These bits are where the upper wings join, so we have to remove that and file them down. But also, here, we have to drill out those little holes and lace up the wings. Mental!
you can see from the destructions, there is a metric shit ton of rigging to be done on this. Something that I'm really comfortable with and I do enjoy. Anywho, let's get a first look at the sprues. There's no commentary until we start the build now, which is at 8 minutes 18 seconds. So feel free to jump on ahead. Well, that is certainly a very detailed kit, which I cannot wait to get stuck into. So let's crack on with it, shall we? First off, I'm going to clean up all the parts for the cockpit, then draw out the cabling for the controls. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There are those parts cleaned up. Now to drill out the holes. I'm using a 0.25 PCB drill bit for this along with a handheld variable speed drill. Keep the voltage to around five or six volts and away we go. We did a bit more clean up on the control column, drilled the holes. Now for the control lines. I'm using 0.2mm beading line. The sort they use to make bracelets makes great cables. Here we go with that. Thank you. 
there we have the aileron controls done. Well, more of a twisting the lower wing controls. Now for a bit of guesstimation on the length of the rudder and elevator controls. Now to drill out the elevator controls and attach them. That's the elevator control cables attached. Now to clean up the cockpit floor. That didn't take long to clean up the cockpit floor, did it? Especially with this speedy uppy thing. Now for the rudder. This time I'm drilling it whilst it's still on the sprue. So let's get that done. There we have the rudder pedals drilled, off the sprue, cleaned up and ready for cabling. Next up we have the two cockpit halves. We'll be drilling out the rigging holes whilst it's still on the sprue. We'll be going straight through the plastic, then once the rigging is in place, we'll knock it back flush and do any filling, if required. There's the holes drilled out and it's all ready for rigging. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? So, let's do the rigging in the cockpit. That sounds like a song I know. No, I'm not going to repeat it. Go look it up. There we have the cockpit rigging done. I hung the reverse tweezers onto the end just to give it a bit more tension. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode one of my new build. If you want to see what happens in episode two, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.